but you're about to see a passionate, dedicated, and trained people practicing and preparing to enter an extreme sporting event that may change their lives. Do not try this on your own without necessary experience and supervision. Breathe in, breathe out. This moment's what it's all about. Won't you be grateful? Your golden way. Don't hesitate. Welcome back to Accelerate. This week, we are going to meet an up-and-coming trapeze performer, Mia Burnham. The 13-year-old gymnast enthusiast has been part of the Zip Zap Circus School since she was 10 and hasn't looked back since. Being part of a circus means you get to learn a variety of awesome skills like juggling, acrobatics, unicycling, clowning, dancing, aerial skills, and more. Mia's passion is trapeze, which is an aerial apparatus. It is a short horizontal bar which is hung by ropes. Trapeze is all about performing moves with grace and style. Try to make every move look effortless, similar to a dance. Mia will be performing a routine to show her coach and her show directors if she has what it takes to be selected for a major upcoming show. Will her passion and determination be enough? Let's find out. I'm Mia Burnham. I'm 13 years old and I'm in grade 8. I stay in Fresno and I live with my parents and my brother. I did gymnastics and horse riding and swimming. I was interested in Zip Zap when I went to see a show, I think when I was about eight years old. Um, and I absolutely loved it. I was like, where can I sign up? Can I be a part of this? And then they, my parents got in contact with Zip Zap and I was put on the waiting list. And then I joined when I was 10 years old in 2017. Mia's passion and, and talent for sport comes from something I think, very internal. She's very dedicated and driven. She saw Zip Zap performing when she was very, very little. And from then, I think she said, that's what I want to do. I don't necessarily have an icon or inspiration, but definitely the older people at Zip Zap and the ones that are in like the top performance levels, touring, they definitely inspire me to, to grow and um, to try new things. My coach, his name is Chompy. I've been with him since I started at Zip Zap, since 2017. We've got a really close relationship. He's been my mentor for almost four years now. As much as he can be funny, he can be um, serious and helpful, he's really contributed to my growth at the circus. Um, we're the best of friends. I love him so much. Mia is very good in trapeze and we do have other other equipments as well but she specifically chose trapeze because she feels so comfortable around trapeze and and she can easily release everything she have well in the beginning level you try everything but i completely fell in love with most of the aerials equipment like the scarves the trapezes lira um, i actually started off doing when I got to the performance level. I started off doing Lyra and then I slowly progressed from that to trapeze. It's really great because I can just like zone in on circus, don't have to have any other thoughts about school or social life. I can zone in on specifically what I'm doing. And the aerials, specifically trapeze, it's very freeing. I love it, I'm very passionate about it. Mia is very much her own person. 
Um, she's dedicated, hardworking, intelligent, enthusiastic, caring, um, sensitive, athletic, very flexible. Mia is uh, beyond her years. Uh, she is just someone who is not 13. She's like 20. <laughs> she's like an incredible soul. Um, she's all of that and more. I definitely want to do the sport for as long as I possibly can. Maybe not career-wise, but I want to do it way into like my free time in university for as long as I can because I love it so much. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely I, I would see a possibility of combining work with performing. The risks uh, that are associated with the aerials and zip zap. Uh, so I guess what I do is definitely injury, you could fall, um, there are major risks involved, serious injuries, but we take necessary precautions to make sure that if someone has an accident or falls that there, that there won't be serious injuries. I have mild concerns about the safety aspect, but I, I think that all the coaches and trainers are very aware and they teach the, the kids to be aware and to be safety conscious um, so at the end of the day she is in good hands at ZipZap and they're very safety conscious and she has a good understanding of what is safe and what is not safe. To be able to be in the circus you have to be able to trust people People are doing your rigging, which is the ropes, to make sure you're all secure. People carry in your mats for you when you're in the show. You sometimes do double acts where you do it with other people. You have to make sure they're going to catch you when you fall. They're stable and you also have to make sure that you are someone that people can trust to do the same thing. That you have people's backs. So trust is the biggest lesson that Zipsap has taught me. Uh, my parents are extremely supportive. Um, during the sport, they help me, help me grow. They, um, from the beginning, they've always supported me and let me follow my dreams <laughs> through the sport. My parents are involved in Zip Zap as well. They um, donated. They also run for the charities, uh, the charity events that they hold and they volunteer during the shows for some of the little places where they sell food and drinks and tickets. I think ZipSap is the most amazing organisation. Um, it's given so many children and adults and people a space to be and to learn and to develop and to interact with other people and give them opportunities that I think they wouldn't have otherwise. Um, so I'm so glad that Mia is part of it and maybe one day my other child will be. But either way, it's just wonderful to be involved in an organization like that. I'm preparing and practicing for an event called Show and Tell. This event is super big for me um, to be performing in front of all my peers to show my progression and I'm very excited and I really hope that I um, am able to progress and get into next year's big show. Um, I think the upcoming event uh, is, I think, important to ZipZap. I think it's beyond me. The fact that, that they can get out and perform again and that lockdown is you know, coming to some kind of an end, I think is important for everyone. I don't think it's just Mia. So I think it's great that she's performing. If she doesn't perform in the big show, then obviously they'll wait and there'll be another one. But it would be her wish to do that and to be involved in a bigger production. So obviously I would be excited for her if she does move through to that one. Yeah, Mia. Show me the, the improvement on Saturday. I'm so excited to see her in the first show of her life. And I can't wait to see that. After the break, we'll see what it takes for someone like Mia to go through a practice session. And maybe that will be enough for her to nail her routine on the day. 
in the meantime, why not check out our Facebook page, like and follow us, and maybe tell us about the sports that you do. Who knows? We could be following your journey next. Welcome back to Accelerate. We are following 13-year-old trapeze performer Mia Burnham. She's a student at the Zip Zap Circus School in Cape Town. She's got a major show coming up, but in order to be selected, she has to show if she has progressed enough in her training. So let's see if Mia has what it takes. Today is a practice day. My parents drop me off at the Zip Zap Dome in Cape Town. We do some warm ups and some basic routines like juggling and some dance performance steps. Then I have a one on one practice session with Trumpy. I'm going to go through some moves from my routine that I'll perform on the weekend. There are a lot of moves that can be difficult to perform, such as the handstand drop. It's important I practice that I can pull it off nicely on the day. <laughs> Trumpy is always there to help me work on my form. After a good session, I feel I'm ready and prepared for the weekend. It's the day of the event. It's a cold day in Cape Town. My mom, dad and I arrive at the Zip Zap Dome. There will be many performances today, so all the kids are warming up and practicing their routines. The routines vary from juggling to side wheels, scarves, and some of the choreographed clowning acts. I will also be performing a triple trapeze act with Leia and Trinity, so we practice our routine before my main event. It's almost time for my routine, so I get my makeup ready. I'm stressed. <laughs> just because I don't have a lot of time right now to get ready. I don't have a lot of time. The reason that I chose to wear the leotard that I wore during my routine was because it was custom made for me when I was competing for Western Province Gymnastics. It's fine, I just put some stuff on, I don't even know what's on my face. Okay, let's go. Mom, stop fussing with my hair.
To start off, I'm standing on the mat while holding the bar of the trapeze. I'm then lifted up by a system called a winch. To start off my routine, I do a beat into a back bend. After that, I move swiftly into a one knee roll up into a trick that's called angel. After angel, I hook my leg up onto the ropes and swivel my way around so that my hips are on the bar. I lift up and then I do two roll arounds into splits, which is quite a hard trick to execute. After that, I bring my leg back to the bar and I swivel my way around so that I'm now sitting on the bar. I'm now standing on the bar, so I jump up with my legs open so that I can hook each foot on a rope. I then bring my arms down so that I can get ready for a trick that's called the open legged handstand drop. This is a very hard trick to execute and to learn. I start beating so that I can process that momentum. After I do a couple beats, I come back onto the bar to do what's called a two knee roller into an ankle catch. After this, I swing back up to the bar, open my legs, and then do another swing toward the audience. I then come back to sitting. I slide my arms up so that I can come to standing and get ready for my final trick, roll downs. Open my legs into a straddle position, and then I bend them, sliding even further down. I then come up, and I try to get comfortable in that position that the ropes are crossed around my legs. I come through the ropes and I start to roll up. I do three rolls and after I rolled all the way up, I do an arm movement to get momentum and then I roll all the way down the ropes. I finish the trick with the bar on my hips and then I roll forward so that I'm hanging from the bar. I'm then lowered down by the same system called a winch. After that, I come off the bar and I take a bow and run off stage. And that was the end of my first routine. That was an amazing performance, but was it enough? The crowd seems to think so. And after the break, we'll see Mia do another routine. And maybe we'll see the crowd go wild. Welcome back. You are watching Accelerate. This week, we are at the circus with 13-year-old trapeze performer Mia Burnham. She's just completed a routine that may get her selected for a major upcoming show. She has one more routine to go. This time, it's going to be triple the excitement. The second routine that I did was one that I did with my two friends, Trinity and Leah. When we're all in sync, we move our hands up and we do a roll around on the bar into splits position. After that, we maneuver so that our elbows on the bar and we split open our legs. Then we do a couple of moonwalks to drop down to our hands so that we're hanging. We do a beat and then we put our knees on the bar. We do a swing toward the audience into a two knee roll up and then we go into ankle catch. We all try to stay in sync. We then stand up. After that, we get ready to do a wrap for our trick that's called roll downs. We each start to roll up and then we roll down respectively. One 
friend Trinity rolls down as I roll up. Then I roll down as my friend Leia is still rolling up. Trinity and I do some dance moves to fill the time as we wait for Leia to roll down. We wait for Leia as we watch her. Then we run around the mat and we end. Then, to finish it all off, we bow to the audience and run off stage. After our performances, we gather for feedback from Brent and Lionel, who assist our trainers with art and content. Thanks very much for working so hard since you've been back. I know it's only been a short time, but you guys have done a great job in the little time that you've been back. Okay, there's a whole lot of you that didn't go on stage today that we want to see on the next time, please. Because Slapstick's coming next year, hopefully we'll be able to do lots of shows next year. So after a tough week, Mia and her peers are well on their way to performing in the next show. Her confidence has grown and the show directors are extremely impressed. Good luck Mia, we can't wait to see you on stage. In the meantime, check out our Facebook page, 